Hello everybody, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you about how to starting the HTML template easy and faster. So basically, this is the templates from my friend Gali Pratama. He prepared the HTML template like the for font awesome and for the SCSS and responsive and for auto refresh and anything else so let's get start this is the github from the gali pratama and i will put the link into the description in the video so we're gonna to download here and i have i already download here so i'm going i'm gonna to show you how it works but first you need the terminal and you need to install the not packet manager so i already install my npm version is the 3.10.9 and after you already installed the npm you can use this xml template okay because uh, the features that uh, available on this template it requires the npm okay so i will go to download and copy and paste into my desktop because i want to make it simply and open open your subprime text and i want to drag and drop my navilera you can change this folder it doesn't matter but you are the rem remember that this is default from Gali Pertama. So the credit is from Gali Pertama. Okay. Cool. So before we start working, I want to, to do something here with our NPM. So I want to copy this directory, just copy and go to the terminal and CD desktop cd is uh, to open our directory and cd and npm install and after that you just need waiting for the minutes it depends on your internet connection so we already installed the npm in the first step we need to install the gulp so just by tip gulp like this g u lp okay so waiting again <laughs> yeah you know uh, we are working with the online repos repository so that's why we need to waiting for the internet connection it depends on your internet connection so make sure that you have the uh, the fast internet connection after you install the group you can see it's automatically open so this is the basic HTML template very cool so let's try to something here I want to show you what we get here what we got here is index HTML but if we are working with the index PHP it doesn't matter so if you are only working in the HTML you can use the HTML okay so don't forget it about it so the first one is the auto refresh that I want to show you how it works. When I change this HTML, I just met the guy who wants to make a business and it's auto refresh, okay? But he buys a little money and request so many tasks like this it's really really cool go the hell <laughs> okay so the feature one is auto refresh auto refresh very cool isn't it and let's try it to the html okay uh, sorry let's try in the css so before we going to the CSS, I want to talking about the SCSS. So currently we are working with the SCSS. You can see here 
we have the styles directory that provides mine.scss so i want to change the color of the body body is included by the let's see here what we got mm, i need to learn first oh this one page so we're going to the page and home okay and in the home we can body and background red we can save and it changes okay you can see or you want to make to the blue it's auto refresh even html or css you don't need to change this mine as css just let it go you are working with the part of scss okay you see if you want to change the typograph you can go to the base and typograph maybe you want to change the helvetica okay so you can see we have so many scss here that you can learn it just read the documentation this is made from the Gali Pratama and he made he makes it easier to our XTML templates very cool I want to change it to the another font maybe I will use the Arial and it changes or you can comic sans <laughs> it's bad font i don't like it <laughs> okay or you can use the roboto auto refresh really really exciting okay so the next one is responsive responsive it's available in the vendor and we have the navilera and source and this is this is the best the best uh best of the responsive and then if you want to working just go to best and no 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 we are working for the so let's try something if i if the screen to the small i want to change this color to the another color let's try so we're going to this is the typograph so we're going to the uh, to the mines main.scss and you can see typograph in the base okay so base and typograph and we need to add class here in the header one we need the class title one we can copy and go to typograph and the title one the default color is white okay so when the screen to be small just include here respond to maybe xx extra uh, extra small and you can change the color to the blue no 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 blue maybe red just save it and try to like this it's responsive design very cool right and let's try something here if i want to change it to respond to md no no, no sm and the color should be green save it and let's try again this is green red green red white okay you see really really awesome this is the responsive make us easier to make the responsive design cool so the last one is font awesome in the here now in the font what uh, this one libraries we have the font awesome okay that you can use so we already load our font awesome here so i wanted to show you this is fa 
FA Facebook FA LG okay save it and try and we have the Facebook icon here or you want to the Apple like this very cool right and you can get the animation by F spin it's spinner like this fidget spinner okay so you got so many features here that you can learn from Gali Pratama it's really really cool well thank you very much for watching this video and let me know if you have the another question or opinion about this HTML5 boilerplate don't forget to subscribe Angariski in YouTube. See you. Bye.